I've just come from a lunch with the American European Business Association, talking in particular about COVID, what COVID may mean for the future of public policy uh, and government. And I said, which may be obvious, this has been the biggest challenge, the biggest shock to governments all over the world that anyone uh, can remember. Very uneven performance in response to it, some with huge death rates and harm to the economy, others not, not too much. And it's brought a whole series of issues into focus, which I think will, will be very live in the next few years. One is how governments prepare for and handle big risks like pandemics, but also other ones like maybe cyber attacks. How they handle sort of data and knowledge, tracking infections, moving very fast. And on some of that, East Asian countries have probably done a lot better than Europe or North America. How they keep their economy going, supporting small businesses and uh, um, new arguments about welfare and welfare support. And a whole set of questions about mutual support, how people help each other and dealing with the mental health and isolation issues the, uh, that the crisis has thrown up. We also turn to the really interesting questions post uh, uh, Joe Biden's election of multilateralism. Will we see in the next few years a revival of active multilateralism, not just around things like health and climate change, but also perhaps on issues like how we handle uh, uh, data, or our communications infrastructures, AI. And I think what was very clear is there's a sense perhaps this week, thanks to a new vaccine and a new president-elect a sense of optimism that even though the crisis looks pretty bad this winter, maybe some things will be unlocked and some new possibilities will become apparent, which otherwise might have been uh, impossible even a few months ago.